Meanwhile, they're all bundled up wheel to wheel together throughout the speedway. The 94 is Todd Giroux. The 4J of Aaron Gilliam. Giroux and Adkins battling for that top spot. Eli Zevenberg got the new 66 Z machine out back. Can't seem to find a place in the field. Great battle up front. Giroux and Adkins, your top two cars. Giroux looks at the inside of Adkins. They're still two by two. What is this, Talladega? What in the world? Ryan Harris in the battle as well. Tom McKenzie, Eli Zuckerberg, and Greg Taylor. This is craziness. Jarreau takes the top spot of the 94, but how long is it going to last? As they're two and three wide back in the pack. Tom McKenzie thought about shooting the gap up the middle, thought better of it. Jarreau leads over the 49X of Atkins and the 49 of Harris. But there's three wide still from the back in the pack. Eli Zevenberg in the back of Tom McKenzie. Great care. They got the fast cars. They're trying to find a way through. There they go. Let's get all the way three wide down the back stretch. As Ryan Harris and Gilliam shoot up the middle. Tom McKenzie trying to get that 95 car moving to the front. Meanwhile, white flag out. One to go for Todd Giroux. race number one for the stock cars is crazy town. Tom McKenzie looking to make a move for the third spot. The crew turns three and four. Get that checkered flag out. Here we go. Your heat race winner, the 94. That's Todd Giroux. Ryan Harris, Aaron Gilliam, Todd McKenzie, Eli Zevenberg in your top five. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Woo, that was fun. Goodness gracious, it's like the Talladega Xfinity race from earlier. Everybody, two and three wide throughout a great heat race. Number one for the J&J fitting stock cars. And your heat race winner here at the start finish line, the 94, that's Todd Giroux. Row two to the inside, the 58 machine of Sean Johnson. Deshaun's outside, the 013, Casey Jones. The 10X is Paul Winslow, the 67X, Max Hofer. And tagging the tail, the T17 of Bretton Palmer. Seven cars set to go. Heat race number two, J and J fitting stock cars, and we are free. Third Van Beek got a round up just right there, trying to work the bottom side of the speedway. The 35 of the turn is 32. Wheel to wheel, they look like one car catch them sideways. As Regnaris and Van Beek still want to hold down that top spot. Casey Jones trying to reel in and join the battle as well. Woo! They're still door to door at the line. Van Beek working the top side. Rick Neris on the bottom. Van Beek with the momentum. He's going to move into the top spot as Rick Neris slides up. Meanwhile, down the back stretch, Paul Winslow with a good run. He looks to the inside of Casey Jones from a 0 13. Kurt Van Beek leads over Rick Harris, Jones, Winslow. Van Beek a little high, that opens the door. Look out, Kurt Van Beek goes around in front of the field. Winslow trying to avoid as well. Wild ride for Kurt Van Beek there in turns one and two. That's going to bring out the caution. You have to think something must have broken on the 35 of Van Beek. At the front of the field, slid up in one and two and looped it around. That's her out. Here we go again. Justin Regnaris leaves the field in the turns one and two. Casey Jones, Paul Winslow, Jones all over the bumper of Regnaris off the of turn two. That 13 car been very fast early on here this season in the J&J Finney stock cars. Regnaris hangs that tail end out. He's trying to hold on to the top spot over Jones and Winslow. Casey Jones takes a peek at the inside of Rick Neris off turn two, but can't quite get there. Rick Neris, Jones, Winslow, your top three cars. Pretty much knows the tail here in the speedway. Jones a little bit lower line through three and four, but Justin Rick Neris keeping it wound up. Final trip around Park Jefferson Speedway, heat race number two for the J&J fitting stock cars. Casey Jones gonna try to make a movement in turns three and four one more time. Jones kicks it out a little wide. 
Off turn four, checkered flag out. Your heat race winner is the 32 of Justin Rignaris, Jones, Winslow, Johnson, and Palmer round out the field. Heat race number two in the books for the J&J Fitting Stock Cars. And your heat race winner, the B&B Salvage 32 machine out of Sioux Center. That is Justin Regneris out of Middlesburg. Excuse me, Middlesburg. Justin Regneris. Well, Lundquist taking the 2B car pit side, so we'll go with six cars. Have to see if we can get a little, uh, keep everybody excited. Not quite as excited until the green flag comes out. Then go crazy. Ackerley and Jones bringing the field. Now we got a good start in the green. Here we go. Glenn Jones got that 13 car out front with a big push from Tony Ritterbush in the 0-2. Zach Oliver in the 71. Mikey Jensen making a move on the outside. Move Jensen at the P4. Jones, Ritterbush, Oliver, Jensen running one of the speedway. A little smoke in the 13 machine. Not sure if that's tire or what that might be. I have to keep an eye on that. But Glenn Jones at the front of the 13. 0 2 0 Tony Ritterbush. The 71 of uh, Zach Oliver, Mike Jensen in the four spot. Glenn Jones up front continues to hold on the top spot. Look out, a little squirrely for the 71 of Oliver. He's going to lose a little bit of real estate in the top two cars and get a little hello, if you will, from Mike Jensen there down the back stretch. Jones pushes way up the speedway in three and four. That's going to bring Ritterbush right to his bumper. Jones, Ritterbush, Oliver, Jensen, your top four. Zach Anker with a fifth spot. Richie actively tagging the tail of the field. Top three cars all right together on the speedway. As Jones pushes up again right in front of Ritterbush. Jones, Ritterbush, Oliver, top three, put a blanket over him. As Oliver looks to the inside of Ritterbush, can't quite make it stick. Ritterbush trying to find a way around the 13 machine, but also to hold off Oliver in the 71. Jones, the 13, Ritterbush, the 0 2, Oliver in the 71. Can they make it three wide down the front stretch as the white flag waves? Trying all different lines around the speedway. Ritterbush wearing off the bumper at Jones in one and two. He's going to make his move. Jones slides down to block. Could be an interesting three and four as Jones pushes way up the speedway, as does Ritterbush. Checkered flag out, and your heat race winner in the 13 is Glenn Jones. Tony Ritterbush, Oliver Ankrum slides by the 28 machine for fourth. Glenn Jones in the 13 does what he needed to do up front. That smoke picked up though on the back of the 13 machine. Ritterbush second, Jones, excuse me, Ritterbush second, Oliver third. And 68Z of Zach Anker with a good move through three and four. Picks up that four spot. Starting 13th in that brand new 66Z machine, Eli Zevenberg and rolling off 13th with Brenton Palmer scheduled to the outside. Mike Jensen and Jeff Adkins make up row number eight. Kurt Van Beek, Rich Ackerley, row number nine. Greg Taylor and Max Hope are scheduled to make up row 10. And Bo Lundquist and Josh Rustman scheduled to make up row number 11. 22 cars set to go. Main event racing for the J&J Fitting Stock Cars. This could be exciting. J&J Fitting is two lands choice for all your commercial pipe fitting and construction needs. And we are set to go green. The field thunders off into turns one and two. Casey Jones swirling the top side of the speedway. But Zach Anker trying to shoot up the middle. They're three and a half wide down the back stretch. Justin Regnaris is your leader off of the field with Todd Jerome in second with their three wide back in the back. Two and three wide racing back in the back. John Johnson too high. Ryan Harris gets by. Paul Winslow though as well. There's still three wide for about eighth spot back in the pack. Justin Regneris, Tom Giroux, Glenn Jones in your top three. It's crazy town back in the back of Kurt Van Peek gets by with the huge avoided trade. 
There's three wide for the four spot with Ryan Harris, Zach Oliver, and Paul Winslow. Two and three and wide racing all the way down the back stretch. Up front, it's Justin Ray Harris and Todd Garrell, one and one and two. After that, it is pure craziness on the speedway. Sevenberg and Ledner eat on the top side. Sevenberg got the piece six. Eli Sevenberg running top side of the speedway. He's gonna have a big run down the back stretch, trying to win in the top five. Meanwhile, your leader is still Justin Ragnaris. Todd Giroux, Ryan Harris, knows the tail of top three. Paul Winslow working bottom side of the speedway. Look out, contact in three and four. Max Hofer getting together with Mike Jensen. Jensen able to continue on, and we're going to have Austin for the 67 of Max Hofer. Trying to make it three wide for the runner up spot. Seven Merkin slides up. Move Eli to P3. But Jerome crosses over, not giving up the ghost just yet. Seven Merkin too strong. Seven Merkin now third. It's Rick Harris. Harris. Seven Merkin. Jerome. Oliver, your top five. Top three cars all in the top side of the speedway. Somebody's got to run a different line. They're going to try to move it and fall into the front. Harris takes heed that time down up turn four to the bottom side of the speedway. Seven Merkin super wide down the front stretch. Lose a little bit of ground on the front two cars. Ryan Harris for about a summer speedway. Can he slide up in front of Justin Greg Harris? Yes, he does. We've got a new leader. It's the 49 of flying Ryan Harris. Zach Ankrum, heavy smoke out of the 68C machine. Ankrum slow down the back stretch. Harris continues to lead over Greg Harris and Zevenbergen. And crossed on the speedway for the 68C of Zach Ankrum. Greg Taylor stopped on the back stretch as well. Have it all working at the top side of the speedway. Oliver been trying a little bit lower line. Have to see what line these guys take entering turn one as uh, we are set to go back. Green flag. JJ Phoenix stock car main event is under the green. Harris back to the top side. Rick Harris tries the bottom. Oliver does as well. That comes over Zevenberg and Zevenberg at P3. He might get P2. Zevenberg with a big run down the back stretch. It's Harris. Sevenberg and Rick Neris can throw a blanket over with Ryan, with Ryan Harris, but Oliver, right, Zach Oliver right there as well. Sevenberg is kind of out there, but he's going to shoot the gap. Sevenberg up the middle. They're three wide for the race lead. Ryan Harris checks up. They're still three wide as Oliver takes a look at the inside. We're going to have caution. Caution on the speedway for the 67 of Hofer. Oh, brother. Into turns three and four. And the pace picks up. We're going back. Green with Rick Nares through leader, but he's got Zetterberg and Oliver's bumper. Zetterberg in the outside. Rick Nares goes top side to block Zetterberg and Zetterberg crosses over. Goes to win by the bottom side. 
move Eli Zemenberg into P1, but Rignaris not giving up the fight. So Rignaris right on his bumper into turns three and four. Zevenberg and now up front, he's starting to open it up now. Zevenberg in that new 66 team machine is your leader. Justin Regneris, Zach Oliver, Paul Winslow, your top four, Todd Terrell, Tony Ritterbush battling for fifth spot. Zevenberg is starting to open it up now, beginning to pull away. Battle shipping up for the second spot with Justin Regneris and Zach Oliver. Battle for fifth continues on with Jero and Ritterbush battling for that fifth spot. Jero on the top side, Ritterbush down low. And Eli Zetterberg now about a 10 card to advantage over Rick Harris. Zach Oliver, the 71, still trying to reel in just to Rick Harris for the runner up spot. Oliver running about a card with lower, but can't quite gain the ground. Zevenberg checks out on the field. Oliver, bottom side of the speedway in turn two. He's up beside Justin Greg Harris. They're going to go side by side in turns three and four for that runner up spot. Off of turn number four, white flag out, one to go for your race leader, Eli Zevenberg. Battle for second continues on with Oliver and Rick Harris. Oliver on the bottom, Rick Harris up top. Rignaris goes in deep, too high in three, one and two, gonna lose some ground to Oliver. But Rignaris charges back down the backstretch. Through turns three and four, old car, new car, it don't matter, your feature winner, the 66Z of Eli Zevenbergen. Zach Oliver, Justin Rignaris, Paul Winslow, and the battle for fifth, oh, too close to call. Too close to call at the line with Casey Jones and Todd Giroux. He wins in the old car, he wins in the new car. Your feature winner in the JJ Phoenix Stock Car main event off wall ready into the pit area, the 66Z of Eli Zevenbergen.